A nice video has come in not so nice questionable website. You run, 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 close the door, start the video, and your phone falls into the water. You run, 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 shake, 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 shake your phone, put it in the rice container, and pray to God. God. So now the question comes why did we put the mobile phone in the rice container? So in Indian family, rice is widely available and rice acts as a desiccant. Desiccant are the materials which actually absorbs moisture or humidity from the air. So when your mobile has got soaked in water, we need to remove the water. Hence we use desiccants or materials which absorbs humidity or absorbs moisture. Today experiment will actually check how much humidity is there inside the rice container we will also check how much humidity is in my lab which is an optics lab hence dome humidity is preferred and also what is the humidity content inside our oven which is at 60 to 70 degrees celsius temperature so if you like the video do like share and subscribe and let's proceed this is my aht 10 humidity sensor our relay is connected so according to the decision that if the humidity goes below 85% so this relay will turn itself on so let us check now problem is uh, this is the month of June July and humidity is uh, because it is a rainy season humidity is more so I will be using this uh, rice container which contains rice to simulate condition when the humidity is low so let us do that and let us see whether this relay turns on or not so I will be putting the sensor inside the rice and you can see immediately my relay turns on I am again putting the sensor this sensor inside this rice here so relay turned on so temperature is 48.37 and humidity is 22 so this is the lab oven and it is stuck in here so let us just enter it more inside and let us see what is the humidity and the temperature But problem with rice is that it actually get uh, uh, trapped on the headphone jack or enters the headphone jack or USB jack. So your phone may get damaged. Because there are other desiccants like silica gels, calcium chloride and like uh, calcium oxide which actually absorbs water. My preference uh, for uh, drying up the phone is, is this like uh, you, if you can remove the battery that is great. Then you place the mobile phone uh, in uh, front of the window or in a uh, well ventilated room under the fan and uh, let sunlight do its job. So heat and well ventilated room uh, actually dries up moisture very quickly from your phone and this may take one to two days. But So this two wire is a positive negative power supply which goes here and all the two sensors power supply two sensor meaning this humidity and temperature sensor and also the power supply of the display goes through these two wires it is uh, brown and black for here and for here also it is brown and black I need more two wires for signal to carry so this is actually analog pin number 5 and analog pin number 4 SCL serial clock serial data SCL SDA so total I need 4 wires now this is the Atmega 328p chip uh, this is the crystal oscillator the exact pin number can be seen in the data sheet now I need to control this relay so this relay is been driven by this transistor which is BC548 the base of BC548 is connected using this 100 ohms resistance. Now the signal is coming from pin number 13 of Arduino. 
this led is actually the indicator which tells when the relay is on when the relay is off suppose this is uh, this is my sensor so if i just see if i blow some air into it the humidity actually increases and you can see it again starts so again i will just blow can you hear the click click sound that is of the relay yes so this is a very simple circuit which you can do at home and it can be used not only for uh, to see how much moisture is there in an object or in a closed chamber but also for agricultural purposes this is the power supply so 230 volts power supply comes to this adapter which actually converts 230 volt to 5 volt and it enters this microcontroller which drives a relay and it makes decision by seeing that whether this humidity is more than 85 percent or not so this is this humidity and temperature sensor now i have this So relay will come on shortly. Now the relay will start after it goes below 85. So relay started. Now what I will do is that. So this relay is actually uh, to start on and off a fan or a humidifier and this whole project can be used in a multi-purpose way. So you can control the relay uh, via making a decision over temperature, humidity. Now let us understand the code. So include hash include where.h, hash include liquid crystal i2c dot h, hash include liquid crystal dot h liquid crystal i2c and hash include adafruit aht10.h so these are all the libraries which we are calling aht10.h actually uh, you will find in the library manager so what you will do is that so there is file uh, edit care tools tools can you see the library manager manage libraries so you will go to the manage libraries and then you will actually wait for a few minutes so after that it will get updated so after a, uh, it got updated so you need to type aht10 so you can see the library which is which i have installed so i'll just close it okay uh, for uh, liquid crystal i2c i'll give you the link and also link to the video from where you can find how to install it in your computer so what i am doing is that uh, i am uh, communicating the arduino board or the atmega 328 chip with a computer uh, with uh, 9600 bits per second so this uh, this whole code is whether my ht 10 is actually connected or not and code from here this LCD code and all those things uh, these are for the whether the LCD is working or not now I have pin 13 which is my output pin 13 of the Atmega 328p chip so again I am calling the library so here I am actually calling the library and uh, to tell me what is the humidity and temperature and it is communicating through I2C so it is actually serially you can also see or you can see in the display so serially it is uh, printing the temperature humidity like that there is a hundred millisecond delay and then actually I am printing it on the LCD cursor so the LCD cursors uh, LCD set cursor is actually as the name suggests it sets the cursor to 0, 0.0 part of the uh, LCD display here I am 
printing temp and then moving the cursor in the first line 6 position and printing the temperature. Then I am uh, placing my cursor in the second line of the LCD display 16 into 2 LCD display uh, writing humid and then I am setting the cursor again to 6th place and giving the temperature. After that I have a small if else loop like if my relative humidity is less than 85% then it will switch on a relay. So digital write 13 i high that will actually switch on the relay and 13 low which will switch off the relay. So if there is a high then there will be a 1 second delay that is because uh, to prevent rapid on and off of the relay and if there is a low then it, there is a delay of 400 because uh, low means the relay is switched off and this is the whole code so what it does is that in a short so it calls the library takes the temperature and the humidity connects the temperature and the humidity reads the temperature and the humidity where the i2c configuration communicates with the display and the sensor using i2c communication and and lastly it displays the temperature and the humidity in the lcd screen if the temperature if the humidity is more than 85 percent then it uh, switches off the relay if it is less than 85 percent then it is it switches on the relay so that is about the whole code you will find the code in the last part of the video i have provided uh, what is called screenshots thank you So this is the whole project. If you like the project, you may like, share and subscribe with your friends. Till then, goodbye.